Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Today we're going to talk about Ample M Light Guitar. Um, so it's the free software that I have shown you how to install it uh, in my past video. So today I'm just going to give you a brief uh, discussion or demo on how to use it. So we proceed. Okay, the first step that you have to do is to insert a MIDI track and then go to your plugins then drag your Ampol Guitar M Light 2 plugin into your MIDI track so after doing that okay so this is your Ampol Guitar M Light M2 light uh, plugin. So again, this is free and it sounds very realistic. It's just um, you just need to properly um, play it so that it would sound like a real guitar. And then just to take note, if you're going to play um, this plugin, you have to bear in mind that you all, you should only play six notes on the keyboard and not more than that because if you would see there are just six strings here so if you want to play it or you want to make it sound as realistic as possible you have to play uh, to a maximum of six, six notes like this oh sorry if you want to play on your plugin you have to put this on in and not auto yeah then there's uh, some other okay so basically the ample M light you can play with your keyboard so I'm using a Roland digital piano to play this and then there are some of those sound effects that you can use like this then tap yeah so I'm not really a guitar player so but sometimes I hear this from guitar players so you can use this as well so let's talk about the strummer first so in order to trigger the strummer, you have to turn this on and then if you would click here, there are various patterns of strumming that you can use. Okay, so please take note, this strumming pattern, you can change it. So you just need to highlight this and then drag or you can put it here and or put it back there. So I just clicked on it to move it to any location that I want uh, according to your chord pattern. And then if, for example, if you're going to play a chord pattern like um, like this, so your first chord would be, like for example, uh, let's do this a G, then this one is E, E minor C D so for example this is my sequence so I would just play click one for example this is my chord pattern then do it so this pattern you can record in your um, in your 
Ableton. So if you want to record this strumming pattern, you have to insert another audio track and then um, divert the sound coming from this MIDI track onto the audio track. So you have to change the source from AG ML2, so it's coming from here. Then you have to press this record button. So now the, um, the sound that we recorded during that strumming pattern is saved here, so now you can play it here. So again, you can hear the sound of the different strumming patterns, so if I do this, so again you can also adjust this. you can adjust some of the settings for your strumming pattern so for myself I don't like using this um, strummer because it sounds so um, like uh, it's like a person is not playing the instrument it will it's too consistent it's too um, uh, not so humanistic as they say it that's why I prefer to use um this one so I switch this off I just go here and play with my keyboards so if you want to record your your strumming or plucking or whatever then you would just need to switch this to auto and then play pu uh, put this on record so let's hear this, if I play something and record it. So Yes, so after recording, they are here. So again, you have to quantize so that it will be proper pl properly placed in the right time signature or in the right location. And then you can adjust the intensity, intensity of the sound here. So you would see it's not like consistently consistently on the same level so that it's always like loud but it's more like it's more realistic because it sounds like a player a person is playing the instrument 
so that's about it for this video today i hope you learned something if you like this video please click like and then if you want to see my future videos please click subscribe thank you so much have a good day bye